You've seen videos like this and you just can't help but say, amazing. I mean, I myself have been so amazed with such effects, especially now that vibrant colors are the trend. So we're gonna do a full review of Motion Array, what I think about as an editor, and what I suggested to you guys. So what is Motion Array? Motion Array is a library of assets for professional editors and filmmakers. Once you sign up to their membership program, it gives you access to unlimited asset downloads, exclusive Premiere Pro plugins, real-time video collaboration, and a video website builder. To finally try Motion Array, I've bought a commercial license worth $29.99 a month, which is their lowest price and good enough for freelancers who are just checking out for a platform that will work best for them. Now, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you some samples, how you can install the plugins to your Adobe Premiere Pro, and we're gonna grab some stunning templates and customize them on After Effects. So for those of you guys who still don't know how to do these things, but interested to learn and be an instant pro, keep on watching. Going through the features or what Motion Array offers for us, we have the templates here. Supports the top applications like After Effects, Premiere Pro, Motion Graphics. Those templates that were edited with After Effects but can be used in Premiere, Adobe Premiere Rush templates, DaVinci Resolve, and Final Cut Pro. Then they also have presets for After Effects, Premiere, and DaVinci. Presets are the ready to use effects and transitions that you just need to install to the application so you can easily access or drag and drop to your video whenever you're creating a project. Moving on, Motion Array has a collection of royalty-free music which can be used without having to worry about being copyrighted. I think that's really a great strength of Motion Array. And of course, they have sound effects which you can filter out on your left side. And they also have stock video footage, video motion graphics, and stock photos. Now, as for the plugins, we have 49 different transitions. Seven of them are for free. Let's have a look at their preview. I think these plugins are the ones on trend these days, especially we see such transitions in vertical videos like IG Reels and TikTok. Creators love them. All you need is to click download. It's both compatible for Windows and Mac. Then, once you have the installer on your PC, just finish the process and the plugins will automatically go to your Premiere Pro presets. Or you can follow the instruction included in your download. Then you're ready to use them as effects or transitions in between your videos. So now I wanna grab some templates that we can use for my current project. And as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna do a quick demo how you can customize them with After Effects. I am looking for something fun, creative, and retro style. This is super cool template, though I'm not gonna market a product so let me find some other. You can also filter the templates you want to see. It's all here at your left side. I think I like this one at the top. Then click download. Okay, I got a creative template suitable for a digital marketing agency. And then I'm gonna find some stock videos to put on to our placeholders. I'm just saving anything that is retro and full of colors. What I noticed here is that Motion Array has some footage with different scenes that has the same person. And I think it's a huge advantage in a way that you can actually create a full story by connecting these videos without having to change the model. Okay, now let us start the fun part. We have everything ready except the audio, which we're gonna do at the last part. But I want to show you once you open the file folder of your template, a quick video tutorial is also included. But for the sake of exploring After Effects a bit, I'm going to show you how I work on this template. As you can see, this template is labeled properly. It shows folder where you edit the colors, images. And when you go to colors, you have to click this white box. Usually it's also named as color. 
Then you're going to head over to Effect Control. This will allow you to customize the colors to your brand. Like for Cabinets, for example, my palette is faded green. Then I'm just going to add an accent here. There you go. Then when you're ready to place your footage, you can simply drag your image or video onto the timeline. So drag image one. You can adjust its size by clicking this arrow and scale to a much lower size. Then image two, three, and so on. It's also up to you if you want to fill all images or you're fine with cutting it down till five or six. It depends on the length of the video you're aiming from. If you want a faster preview of your video on After Effects, you can go to the main composition, then place the cursor line at the beginning and press spacebar so it will render from beginning to finish. All we need is adding the text. I'm going to fast forward now so we can get our final preview. What do I think about Motion Array in general? First of all, I think they were branded really great because compared to their previous site, I would say that was quite boring and very similar to some other template sites like Template Monster and Envato. I mean, you could almost tell no difference between them, but now it's like they completely turned the tide up high, they leveled up their advertising strategy, highlighted what their templates can do, and not just the plugins, because we know since then that Motion Array stands out for its plugins. Also, there are some assets that can be downloaded for free. I don't think I have seen any other template sites that give so much free items. I mean, without having to purchase a plan. And I've honestly been using Motion Array for my audio since I started editing. Although, for the number of templates you can get for free, Obviously, they aren't much compared to as when you purchase a commercial license. But if you're just a beginner and want to practice for now, getting some free assets are really an edge for you to actually try if it's going to work. I mean, before upgrading. In terms of the number of templates, they're about 60 per pages. So if that is 7 pages, then about 4,200 video templates, plus the other assets like photos, videos, audio, and so on. I think it's not so bad, and I think Motion Array has collected the most creative effects. Although, I really don't want to compare it to another site, but since I'm an Envato Elements user as well, I'd say it has more options and a wider variety of asset categories, like websites, more graphic templates, but it's quite more expensive. So personally, I'd only use Envato for an agency, or if you're a freelancer with a growing number of big clients. And, you're just comfortable with having so many template options. But from my experience, one subscription site is good enough, you just have to pick which one you're really happy with, and obviously you don't want to spend so much money on having two, right? Finally, I think Motion Array has really targeted the year 2022. It's all about maximalism, videos, postings have to be vibrant, colorful, retro, so most probably I'll stay with my subscription for a couple of months. And if you're also interested to know more about Motion Array, just click the link on the description box. And if you think this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on updates.